Hi guys, this is your old curmudgeon, uh, you know, humorless uh, doomsday prophet, environmental alarmist, and chronicler of the downfall of civilization here on Saturday morning, December 29th, 2012. And uh, I've been coming at you with, a, with all of these top stories of 2012. I mean, my God, they're falling all over themselves. So what do I find today when, when I turn on uh, Yahoo News? This is from uh, a, a magazine I talk about a lot called Live Science that uh, up until this morning, I had a lot of respect for. And uh, so what did Live Science do you think they they rounded up the top science stories of 2012? No, their uh, their headline is total hooey, H O O E Y. That's the uh, I guess the the polite term for horseshit. Total horseshit. The strangest non-stories of 2012. So what they did is they rounded up not uh, the, the top stories, but, but the non-stories of 2012. Things that never really happened. And uh, of, of course the, the, you know, December 21st, 2012, the end of the world being the main thing that never happened. Uh, but I want to I want to uh, touch on this on a couple of them. I'll touch on one and then go off into a rant. This is going to be a rant, uh, ostensibly about Bigfoot, uh, but more than that about uh, about my never-ending rant on uh, on discernment and critical thinking. This is a dumb hippie on a rock who happens to have a journalism degree, trying to give live science a lesson in discernment and critical thinking. Before I launch into, in, in, into my Bigfoot rant, just real quickly, uh, now this one I have to admit, guys, I was, I, I was hoodwinked by, and that's this video, Eagle Snatches Baby in Canadian Park. I just saw this thing a few nights ago, and I have to admit, uh, I swallowed this line of shit about this, this guy supposedly filming this golden eagle flying over and then it swoops down and you clearly see this golden eagle pick up this newborn baby uh, you know, to take it off to uh, it, it, its lair and eat it. Now of course I was cheering on the golden eagle. I think the, the highest and best use of cute little babies crawling around in uh, public parks is to, is to make eagle food out of them. But unfortunately, the eagle dropped the baby, and uh, so the eagle did not get to eat the baby. Uh, but anyway, guys, it turns out uh, that the that the people who made this film have come forward uh, this was, this whole thing was, was a prank. It was done through Photoshop. Uh, but you know, so even me, Mr. Discernment and Critical Thinking, I fall for, I fall for this horseshit too. I, I, I'm not immune. Uh, but speaking of not immune, the, 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 the author of this article from Live Science is a guy named Benjamin Radford, and Benjamin Radford ought to be completely ashamed. Uh, I'm sure Benjamin Radford, well I'm not sure, I'm assuming he has a uh, degree in journalism like I do and that he is able to uh, to, to hit google.com just like me. And uh, so after one of the nine stories he talks about is this Bigfoot DNA. Uh, I did a story, uh, a rant back in May a, uh, about this Bigfoot DNA uh, study going over there at Oxford University where the serious Oxford level genetics researchers, they have heard enough about this Bigfoot thing and said, okay, prove it. 
And, and hallelujah, I'm glad to see some serious scientists at Oxford University. Guys, I don't know whether Bigfoot exists or not. I think there is enough anecdotal evidence out there to build a pretty strong case for Bigfoot. I certainly do not eliminate the existence of Bigfoot as a possibility. The reason that I'm cheering on the existence of Bigfoot, not only because I think Bigfoot's pretty cool, but if we could prove that, that a species, you know, essentially a species of humanoid is alive and well in the Pacific Northwest, it would put an end, an end to old growth logging. You follow me? A Bigfoot is not who's important here. It, it's the habitat that he inhabits, the old growth uh, forest of the Pacific Northwest. Forget the spotted owl. Uh, if we could prove that we have one of our own cousins living there, and you know, it would put these sons of bitches out of business. These planet-eating timber companies put the sons of bitches out of business. So this is why I am cheering on this research. And uh, if, if, if this Benjamin Bradford guy had, had, had spent one minute of his life clicking on Oxford University Bigfoot DNA research study, he would, uh, for the most uh, up-to-date information, he would find out that the, the study is still ongoing, that they have not released any conclusions from their study is being kept uh, tight-lipped until they, they're going to get their conclusions and then they're going to have it peer-reviewed, peer-reviewed by other uh, serious scientists, geneticists, or whoever, uh, you know, would be interested in this and educated in this and, and being able to render an intelligent opinion based on these genetic uh, analyses of these hair samples. And then uh, at some point next year, they will release these findings. But what did happen is that uh, is 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 that when was it a week or two ago that this crackpot this absolute whack job I think she's right here in the good old state of Texas once again making Texas the 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 often well deserved butt of the rest of this country's and this planet's jokes that this this damn uh, woman as some uh, in What's her name? Ketchum, I believe. Someone Ketchum. Anyway, she's some damn uh, veterinarian from Texas. Uh, so, so let me read you. It's just a little two-paragraph story as reported in Live Science, you know, making a joke about it. This was for a cheap laugh. A cheap laugh. Bigfoot proven through DNA. Okay. This was also to be the year, 2012, was to be the year that genetic testing confirmed the existence of Bigfoot. Okay, right off, that is not true. This was to be the year that genetic testing at Oxford University by top-level geneticists we're going to test whether or not, according to these samples that they had, that Bigfoot existed. So right off, the, the, we're already getting steered off the, the truth that this guy is drifting into dangerous territory to lazy, sloppy journalism. But I guess the editors and publishers of Live Science let it slide because this is clearly one of these light-hearted ha-ha-ha year-end romps. Okay. According to a press release issued by a company called DNA Diagnostics detailing research by a Texas veterinarian, a team of scientists has confirmed the existence of a novel hominid hybrid species commonly called 
Bigfoot or Sasquatch living in North America, the release reads. I, I'm, I'm going to save my, I, I, let me read the, 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 the uh, well, let me stop here. As I just said, this, th th this absolute horse shit DNA research by this crackpot here in Texas had nothing to do nothing to do with this serious Bigfoot research going on over there at Oxford University in England. It, 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 it is farther apart than apples and oranges. The, the, uh, the, the Benjamin Radford knows goddamn well that these studies have nothing to do with each other. And that, and, and that the, the news about the Bigfoot DNA research that was being reported earlier in 2012 was not this study at all. It, it, it is an absolute, complete abandonment uh, uh, of discernment and critical thinking uh, by a journal calling themselves Live Science. It is completely reprehensible journalism. This son of a bitch needs to be fired. This guy has no business calling himself a journalist. Zero. If I was still an editor, as I was for seven years, I would have fired this son of a bitch for even putting this in front of me on my desk cheap laugh or not speaking and so he's all what he's aiming for here is this cheap laugh punchline okay not only that but bigfoot this is this is according this is according to the whack job uh here in texas it has nothing to do there's nobody uh no uh scientist is making the claim that uh, that that uh, is being repeated here in this uh, in, in this completely joke of a story. Bigfoot is a half human hybrid that had sex with human women approximately fifteen thousand years ago, or so this theory goes. If it all sounds a little dubious, it should. There was no evidence offered at all. The evidence, which is allegedly taken five years to collect and analyze, has yet to be published in any peer-reviewed scientific journal. Uh, until and unless scientists are allowed to examine the evidence, Bigfoot DNA will remain a non-story. Exactly. Exactly. And scientists, scientists, real live geneticists are examining Bigfoot DNA or what people claim are these hairs and fecal samples and blood or skin or whatever they're over there analyzing and it will remain a non-story. Nowhere was it mentioned about the Oxford study in here and uh, so now Bigfoot you know it's become just one more laughing stock story and, and, and live science should, uh, should be outed for this. That's what I'm doing. I'm outing live science. And, and this, and, and this uh, comedian, Benjamin Radford, ought to have his ass fired. And so I'm going to figure out a way to send this video to Benjamin Radford. Listen, you son of a bitch. You, you knew goddamn well what you were doing. I don't see any humor in it. What the hell were you trying to prove? You know? All you're doing, you dumbass, is proving your, your own complete incompetence as a journalist. You know, there, there, there's journalists looking for jobs out there, and I think yours ought to be available. You ought to get your ass fired. I got no respect for you, and I'm losing respect for live science. And with that, I will say, bye guys. <laughs>